If you have been following my channel over the last few months, you might have noticed that during the installation of large language models and play around with them, I always include a jailbreak prompt. A jailbreak prompt is a request to LLM designed to bypass or overcome the restrictions and ethical guidelines set by the model's creators. These restrictions are in place to prevent misuse such as generating inappropriate content, infringing on copyrights or performing tasks that violate privacy and security guidelines. In this video, I am going to introduce you to this research which introduces this ASCII based art prompts that were used to jailbreak LLMs showing that safety alignment solely based on semantic is not enough to ensure LLM safety. And it is not some trivial problem. Look at this table. <clears throat> In this table, all five top LLMs like GPT 3.5, GPT 4, Gemini, Claude and Lama 2, all of them fail to recognize prompts provided in the form of ASCII art. When I say ASCII art, this is what I mean. You can see that in the first example, the number one, it was it is simply a uh, text which was easy for LLM to recognize. When the, but when the same thing was rendered to LLM in the form of ASCII, it failed to recognize the jailbreak and provided the answer. And there are various examples scattered throughout this paper, which I will drop the link in video description where you can see. So you can see that here again, direct prompt LLM was able to detect, but for the ASCII based art, it failed to recognize it. And then it started giving the instruction and I have seen it myself firsthand during various other jailbreak prompts. Now, if you're reading this paper, then I would highly suggest that you be aware that this might contain offensive material so this is just for research and educational purposes now the work is quite astounding because safety is critical to the usage of llms and various techniques that have been developed to strengthen llm safety however all these methods are based on text and semantic and none consider other forms of textual information such as ascii art all five models tested struggle to recognize ASCII art. It is a form of text-based art that is used to convey information in a more creative way as I showed you. So this is quite a big breakthrough in my humble opinion as you can see from this table which summarizes HPR, HS and ASR of art prompt and five sort of jailbreaks attacks. And this art prompt was effective against all these LLMs. Now, a new vision and text challenge benchmark is also proposed to evaluate the capabilities of LLMs in recognizing prompts that cannot be solely interpreted by the semantic. So this is a huge thing and I believe that this should be intrinsic in the testing of and evaluation of all the LLMs. So in a nutshell, in this paper, what is happening is that they have shown, the researchers I mean, that semantics on the interpretation interpretation of corpora during safety alignment creates vulnerabilities to jailbreak attacks. They have developed this benchmark which I have, I have highlighted. The name is Vision in Text Challenge or VITC to evaluate the capabilities of LLMs in recognizing prompts that should not be interpreted purely using semantics. The results showed that five SOTA LLMs struggled with the recognition tasks specified by their benchmark. They have also demonstrated that such poor performance leads to vulnerabilities. They designed a novel jail jailbreak attack named Art Prompt, which I showed you a couple of examples to exploit these vulnerabilities. They have evaluated Art Prompt on five LLMs, which I also showed you, and you saw that Art Prompt can effectively and efficiently provoke unsafe behavior from the aligned LLMs. There are few limitations too. Because they have hypothesized that art prompt will remain effective to attack multimodal language models. The reason is that although multimodal language models can take images as inputs, which can be interpreted in a similar manner to ASCII art, locked prompt generated by art, art prompt are still in the format of text. Such input format will confuse the model. But all in all, I think models should be able to recognize that pretty soon. Now we know that. And at the end, the primary goal of this video is to 
advance the safety of LLMs operating under adversarial conditions. So I'm just covering the paper. So please make sure you don't use it in any unethical or illegal way because this is still something in progress. This paper focuses on how corpora should be interpreted to enhance the safety of LLMs. And obviously it reveals, reveals the limitations and potential vulnerabilities of the existing LLMs if the training corpora are interpreted using semantics only. We all need to acknowledge the vulnerabilities of LLMs and prompts demonstrated in this paper, but at the same time, I believe that this is going to be a big thing and will be implemented by a lot of large language models very, very soon. That's it. Let me know your thoughts on it. What do you think? Um, hats off to these, you know, all of the researchers who have done this wonderful work. I will drop the link in video description. If you like the content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.